For all the action movie lovers, then you need to stay tuned on this episode of The Real because I'll be talking about a movie that's your thing. This week on The Real, I'll be talking about a well talked after movie called Captain Marvel. So if you're the lover of Avengers and the kind of story, this movie will be for you. Stay tuned. Hey guys. Welcome back to yet another episode of The Real. As I said earlier, this week I'll be talking about a very exciting movie called Captain Marvel. Now, you need to really understand the previous Avengers movie and how they actually bring in new characters, you know, into the series of Iron Man and Co. Captain Marvel is one of the new characters you're actually going to be seeing in the new Avengers that we are all waiting for coming very soon called Avengers The End Game. So Captain Marvel featured um, a new lady who they had to introduce and she, in this movie she also had um, Samuel L. Jackson work with her through this movie and it was really exciting. You're a Kree, a race of noble warriors. Heroes, noble warrior heroes. I'll tell you a bit about the movie. Now, most people felt that Captain Marvel didn't really cut it for them. There was just something not extremely right about it. You know, we had so much expectations, and then we get to the cinema, and our expectations were not even met, not a of being so past. But, of course, you know all the trails and the trailers and the, you know, ads for movies, they just want you to make you see it, and then you see it the first time, you absolutely don't really want to see it again. But it was okay. Just okay. Not extraordinary, but it was fine. It began the day it nearly ended. We found you. With no memory, we made you one of us. So you could live longer, stronger, superior. So, a bit about the movie, so you had, you know, the lead actress Anna, who played the role of Captain Marvel, tell the story how she used to live on Earth, and then after living on Earth for a while, had a crash or something, and then she moved on to C-53. So C-53 is the other planet out of space that they made us understand that some people were actually on. Of course, they had some mystic superpowers, and then she had a mission, which, you know, she ended up again on Earth, and then she had to go look for her background, find a friend who had a daughter who was telling her, you know, her history, how she was living on Earth. You really need to pay attention to really understand all the details and try to understand the dots in this Captain Marvel. So they're trying to tell you a story before the end game. So th that was it, but it was not really quite easy to understand. You know, then she had to fight the bad guys who came to save her when she realized that they took her from Earth to C-53. You know, some action here and there, fight back and forth to really understand who she really was. A lot of flashbacks also, I need to tell you that. So, you know, there are some flashbacks of when she was on Earth to when she was on C-53, back on Earth. Quite complicated, you need to pay attention to really understand. But the main story really was that you're going to see Captain Marvel in the new Avengers Endgame. And she's also going to be with Samuel L. Jackson and everyone is going to come again together, you know, to see this episode. Now we don't know if this is really, really the end or an end to another part they're going to tell us about. But till we see Avengers the Endgame, then we can actually tell a story if we like it or not. You were reborn. I keep having these memories. Something in my past is the key to all of this. To my verdict. I didn't really, really enjoy this movie, and that's my verdict, so I will give this movie a seven. Vlad, this thing? We'll see. That's a yes or no question. Yes. Of course, I will recommend it to all the action movie lovers, you know, who probably want to pay attention and like all the outside space kind of movies and here on Earth. Yes, maybe you'll enjoy it, but there was just something not really right, so... Would you like to know what you really are? I think I had a life here. What aren't you telling me? You've come a long way. But you're not as strong as you think. This war is just the beginning. I'm not going to fight your war. I'm going to end it. Of course, the cinematography was good. Production was okay. Storyline just there, not extraordinary. 
for me, there were just some things not in place, which, of course, people don't want to leave the cinema confused or wondering what happened. They want to understand the story in full and be able to tell a story. You can't really tell Captain Marvel's story quite clearly. But it was okay, it was good, and I think I enjoyed it, and I'll give it a 7 over 10. As usual, I will always ask you to make sure you do subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is at Business Day. Make sure you follow us across our social media handles, which is at Business Day NG on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And make sure you always stay tuned to The Real, and let's always tell you the movies to watch or not. Aren't you the cutest little thing? Aren't you cute? And what's your name, huh? Gary. What's you? I'll be back.